this is all old comb and it's perfectly good wax. All of this is really dark and the dark color is from the bees. This is where the larva and the baby bees were. So the darkness is just old comb that the bees have repeatedly used. They build little cocoons in all of these little um, honeycombs. And so we need to get the cocoons out. We need to get all of the dirt and detritus and just stuff because we want to render out that beautiful golden beeswax. And we can do that using this old comb. Let's get started. So I have a pan with about four inches of boiling water here and I'm just gonna load in the remaining comb. So you'll see how immediately this wax just loses all of its shape and it melts super quickly in that boiling water. So it doesn't take very long. I'm also going to turn my, okay, my kettle on high and I fill the kettle up because this is all, since this was brood comb, it's all just little cocoons in there. There's bees, there's all sorts of crazy stuff, debris, dirt, and so I'm going to strain that out. In another bucket, I'll take the tailings from yesterday's comb and from today's comb, put them in a bag and just run boiling hot water through them. And so the wax will melt and run through. And then I'll have clean tailings and all of these little um, carcasses and cocoons and things. And that's what I'll feed the chickens. Fuck! Look at that! It's delicious! Somebody eat it! Yum? Yum? Not yum. Yum, not yum. Somebody be brave! Don't like it, huh? No? No bueno? I thought you guys would love this. <laughs> Eat your bugs. I don't have anything for you. That's what I gave you. You know, beggars? You don't want those carcasses? No? Gross? I have the most spoiled chickens on the planet. Yes, I do, Rooster. I can't believe you ladies won't eat this stuff. No. Nobody? Is it gross? Is it gross? I thought you would love it. Well, there goes my idea about the chickens liking it. I thought this would be such a good treat for you guys. No? No good treat? Now it's just something gross right here, huh? Yeah. Oh, kind of scoot it out of the way. So, never mind that part about the chickens liking it. Here's my empty bucket. Now, this is just where I'll pour and strain all of the honey or all of the wax and water into. I learned a really interesting lesson yesterday. So I did two batches yesterday. This is my third and final batch. And I had filled this bucket to here with cold water. And when I had poured this into the cold water, the, um, the hot wax immediately set up and turned into this weird crystalline, they're actually just little tiny beads of wax. I didn't get a nice big thick sheet. So I thought that was interesting, but what I did discover is doing that clean the wax more efficiently than the system that I had previously had where I pour 
this water and wax mixture, I strain it into an empty bucket and then I let it sit overnight. So it cools very slowly and it allows all that debris to settle to the bottom. And then you have this perfect, beautiful, smooth layer of wax and the debris is on the bottom and you can just scrape it off and then you render that again a couple more times and then you just are left with this pure beautiful wax. Pouring the wax into cold water created all of these weird little wax bubbles but it's all pure wax and so I'm looking forward to as an experiment this year just kind of by happenstance I'm looking forward to rendering all of this back down for a second time, possibly a third time, and each time allowing it to just settle in hot water on its own because I don't want I don't want waxy substance like this. I don't want to use my beeswax like that. I want a solid block of it. So here's my final my third and final batch. You gotta be committed when you pour this. So you don't want it dripping down the side of your bucket. Okay. So in order to extract the last bit of the wax, I'm just gonna pour the boiling water carefully over them and rinse all the remaining wax out of them. So now this I'm going to let settle. I want it to cool slowly. I'm going to get most of that debris out of there because the final melts are all going to be purifying melts. So I've got most of the debris and all of the chunks out of there. So I don't want any debris remaining in my pan. Okay, so I have three or four inches of water in my pan. I'm going to take my, pro my wax that's been processed. Some of this has been processed once and some of it has been processed twice. But it's all relatively clean. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the pot of water. And we're just going to repeat this process. So every time we do it, the clean purified wax floats to the top and underneath is this layer of pollen and propolis and whatever and you can just scrape that off and keep refining it as much as you need to until you have that beautiful solid block of pure beeswax. all this mum off and by the looks of this by how much kind of debris and gunk is still on here I'll probably render this out two more times and it's really it's it's it looks like a big deal because I've got all this stuff going on but you basically just melt it and pour it into a bucket you add a little bit of water so you just need to let it sit overnight so that's why I've had like three or four outfits on because you just I do it once a day and that gives it time to cool and separate and do its thing you don't want to scrape down into your rocks too much but you also don't want to just keep putting this stuff back in your water and creating more work for yourself Today is the final melting of my beeswax. I have rendered the brood comb maybe six or seven times and I've rendered the honeycomb I think three times and then I combine them together for two final renderings. So it's a really beautiful pure wax and now I'm melting it down for the first time without water. So this is just pure wax. I've got it over low and I have a mold. So I'm gonna pour this into this maple syrup container and use this as my mold. But if I just pour it in here, the wax is gonna to stick to the sides of this. So you can buy candle release 
or you can just use regular dish soap and it it doesn't really matter and you just run the soap around every piece of the mold now this mold it's smaller on the top it was an old jug than it is on the bottom so I'm not gonna be able to slide the wax out I'm just gonna have to take a carpenter's knife and cut the mold off and then unmold it that way okay so that's ready Drain it into our bucket. What bucket? The honey bucket! <laughs>